Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hi, how are you? I still don't have an intro, so this is the intro. <sighs> you guys, it's crazy world out there right now. So I believe LA is gonna be on lockdown tomorrow. I'm not sure. I haven't been out. I've been self-quarantined for about four days now, but I really wanted to make this video. I know there's so much going on for everyone in the world and I wanted to do something a little more lighthearted and a little more true to myself. So I I actually was gonna do this video later on in the year because it's a little early to be planting a garden, but I decided a lot of people don't have access to fresh produce and what a lot of people do have access to, at least at stores and whatnot, is vegetables and seeds and plants and things that you can have for the foreseeable future. I know this isn't for everyone. Not everybody has a garden. Not everybody can do like an outdoor planner, but I thought I would do it because I was gonna do it anyways. And you know, it's something fun for me. So basically I am going to the, um, oh, shouldn't be touching my face. Also, I'm taking the necessary precautions. I'm wiping a lot of things down. I'm using gloves. I'm using a mask. I haven't been out and the garden center opens in about a half an hour. I don't suspect that anyone will be there. So that's why I'm going to go right now when they open. I know I'm probably the only person who's buying plants or vegetables. So I'm going to head to the, over there. Um, it's a place called Armstrong. They have them all over LA. I'm going to get a bunch of essentials and I'm going to take you guys along the way and show you how I plant my summer garden, which is not only a great way to have fresh organic produce, for you, your family, but also like give to others, give to friends, give to your elderly neighbors if they're in need. You know, I can only assume that it's going to be harder to get that stuff with all the groceries, stores, you know, running out of stock and whatever, but we're going to make the best of it and uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we are here. Got my gloves on, being safe. Let's chat herbs. Herbs are amazing because you can get them year round, but it's good to plant them early. So we're gonna go for some of my favorites. We have some curled parsley right here. This is amazing in salads and soups. You can dry it, it's awesome. Let's see, we have chives. These are great for omelets. We have mint and spearmint. This stuff spreads like crazy, so I suggest putting that in a pot or putting it just somewhere a little separate because the roots are wild. There's some beautiful sage here. I don't really use that much. This is dill. This is also amazing in salads, on fish. We have thyme. Thyme is amazing. We have Italian oregano, which you can dry. You can use on meats, on fish, on veggies. Also awesome. Let's see what else we have going on here. These are not herbs. Hey guys, just wanted to take a quick second and thank today's video sponsor, which is Native. Some of you guys may know, or some of you may not, but I have been switching to more natural skincare products. And with that comes personal care products. So I'm super excited to be working with Native. I've been using them for a couple weeks now and I'm super obsessed. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the deodorants. First of all, they do everything from deodorant, soap, lotion, toothpaste, but I've been using the deodorant and the toothpaste recently. The deodorants, they come in sets. You can order them online and, oh my gosh. Let me smell this real quick. This is lavender and rose. The packaging is really cute and minimalistic. You can read all the ingredients that are on it, which is super important to me. I just like wanna know, I have super sensitive armpits. Like if I use any other type of deodorant, especially stuff with aluminum in it, like I will break out, I'll get like chub rub or whatever. It just like hurts. This, it's not sticky, it goes on smooth, it lasts all day. I've literally been gardening all day and I smell good still, which is beyond me. So that one's the lavender and the rose. The citrus and herbal musk is also so good. It's really fresh, it's a little masculine, but it's still really, really nice. I haven't tried this one yet. This is the eucalyptus and mint, but again, it's just really fresh. And both of the, these ones that I've tried have literally stayed on all day. I work out during the day, I'm running around with the dogs, I'm running errands, I'm on set, like, it's amazing. So those are the two orange. And these are the two toothpastes that I've been using. I've been alternating. This is the whitening wild mint and peppermint oil. And this is the detoxifying charcoal with mint. Obviously the charcoal has charcoal in it, so it is black, but it's just really safe. I like, I don't want to use harsh products and harsh chemicals to whiten my teeth. I mean, my teeth are, they're sparkling, they're gleaming. And I'm just like, I'm a really big fan of Native, so these products have no parabens, no aluminum, uh, cruelty-free, they're not tested on animals, so it's really like a feel-good product that you know exactly what you're putting on your body. So if you guys want to try Native for yourselves, you can click the link down in below, down and below, down below in my bio, and use code Mr. Prada at checkout. You'll get 33% off their three-pack of deodorant and 50% off all toothpaste. So what are you waiting for? Hello. Great deal. All right, now let's get back to the video. This is a little flat leaf parsley. I actually like the flat leaf a little more just because I think you get more product 
and rosemary rosemary is amazing on vegetables on potatoes in the oven definitely gonna get some of these as well all right y'all i have a full cart i did not take you along for the journey here but i want to show you what i got i got a i got about eight tomato plants i got these are the kinds i got i got a better boy another better boy Beef steak, these are the big guys, so these are really great for tomato sauces, they're great for salads. I also got a cherry tomato. I got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes that'll look like, actually no, these are sun gold. So these are like orangish yellow ones. These are the heirloom ones, so they're smaller. These are heirloom. You see these at like really nice restaurants with some cheese or whatever, but these are so beautiful. The smaller ones will obviously take longer to grow. The more matured plants, which you can get anywhere, will be ready probably in a couple weeks. They'll, they're already flowering, so couple weeks. Well, let's see, I got a bunch of different herbs that I'll go through later. I got some carrots, I got lettuce, I got cauliflower back there. What else did I get here? Cucumbers, I love cucumbers and salads. I got some radishes, all really good vegetables for your body. I got some zucchini squash, some peas, more chives and whatnot up here. But also what I found, these are peonies. Look how stunning. These are actually my favorite flowers but they don't grow here, so I'm very shocked at, see, this is what they look like right here. They're beautiful. These ones look like that. So pretty. I'm a little shocked. I think they're gonna flower, but I think I'm gonna have to cut them down afterwards because they definitely need more of a cooler climate and it gets really hot here in the summer. That's why all the vegetables do really well because they're all full sun and we have full sun all summer long until like October. So I'm gonna check out here. I'm gonna get some manure. Yeah, we want like a little bit of acidic earth because vegetables love acidic dirt. This stuff is great right here. This is outdoor planning. You can get this anywhere, at Home Depot, any Ace Hardware, you can order it online. I'm gonna go check out and I'll see you guys at home. Oh, that is real up close and personal. Hi guys, it is the next day. It actually started raining yesterday, so I didn't get to garden, but it is the next day, it's beautiful, it's sunny out. So I decided what better to do with my day than plant this garden. Actually back, I believe it was in the 50s or 60s, people would plant victory gardens at their homes and basically give the produce to the troops and send it to people in need. So this is kind of like what I'm doing. We're gonna save some for us, we're gonna share it with other people. But anyways, let me show you the current situation. So this is bed number one and this is gonna be most of the herb. This is bed number two with a lot of stuff from last year. But as you can see, um, I had soil up to the top and it has sunk down that much. So I'm gonna have to add some more soil. This is a blueberry bush. This is a raspberry bush that I might have to transplant. I cleared this one out already. It had all of this stuff in here. This is old mint. Remember I told you before that mint spreads. These were the roots. It was so annoying to take out. And then this is an old basil and some old parsley that I will cut in the kitchen and then freeze dry that stuff. I also have two, two three bags of um, raised bed potting mix. This is the brand I'm using, Dr. Earth. And then two bags of compost just to get some new organic matter in there, texture. Yeah, it's just really good. It has manure in here, but no chicken manure, no filler, no chemicals, which is great. So I'm gonna put that stuff in there. I also have an irrigation system in here, so I don't have to water this, which is really nice because it gets really hot in the summer. But I'm gonna lay that stuff down and then I'm gonna get planting with the herbs. Update, I have laid out the land. Also, you guys, these are above ground planters that I built last year and they've maintained really well. I just stained them. They're not like painted or anything and they're slowly weathering and they look like a bit more natural. But yes, so we have here, we have zucchinis and the idea is that they'll kind of drape over this side because they tend to get a little crazy. Here are spaghetti squashes, here are cucumbers, we have carrots, radishes, dill, lettuce, celery, basil, oregano, chives, romanescu, which is cauliflower, rosemary, and parsley, and dill. I think I already, did I already say dill? Dill, yes. So this is what it's gonna, what it's gonna look like. All right, I'm gonna plant my first zucchini. So for these guys, you don't have to get all serious and like use a shovel or anything. You can just use your hands. You don't wanna put too much soil around the top, otherwise it might like drown. They want a little bit of the like top roots showing. So as long as you really get it in here and just gently press around so there's no air pockets, because if there's air pockets, then it's not gonna 
grow really well. It likes to be tucked in there. I always make a little basin around the plant after I'm done pushing it down to get rid of the air pockets just so water can catch in here and it doesn't drown the plant. But honestly, this thing isn't gonna need much, especially at the beginning. They're really gonna catch quickly and grow really quickly. So yeah, we'll just continue with that all the way around. All right guys, it's a few days later. Um, it started raining actually, and then the next three days it has been raining. And it's our first sunny day right now. I am in, still in quarantine, day 14. I also had to refilm this twice because my neighbors have been having a pool party. I don't know with who, but it's those same neighbors who are really annoying all the time and play the music until three in the morning. So the music's turned down a little bit, so I'm gonna continue with the gardening, but as you can see behind me, if you can see, I've cleared out this bed. The herb bed is doing beautifully. We'll check on that in a second. This is gonna be the, the tomatoes, which I have here. We have eggplants, we have peppers. So this is gonna be like the more hardy stuff. I have my dirt here, same amount that I did before. I'm gonna put the compost and the dirt in. I also pulled out those herbs from the other bed because they're not gonna fit, and the raspberry bush, which I do need to fit in there. But for now, I'm gonna get the soil in and then get the tomatoes and show you how I plant those. So, see you in a sec. right behind me but for tomato plants they're really not picky neat just like the herbs honestly if you get them in the soil they have good drainage they have proper water and they have full day of sun like a little shade in the late afternoon slash early evening is totally fine but it needs I would say like morning Sun afternoon Sun and a little bit of the late afternoon and you'll be fine as long as they have enough Sun so they can fruit they'll be amazing they're great and raised planters because of the drainage but just they don't like to sit in water so if you have like a watery area try to get them a little elevated or mix in some just some nice aerated soil maybe with some rock some drainage on the bottom for the most part you should be fine they also do well in pots you know on a deck so really you can grow herbs, tomatoes, any of these things that are in the video really easily. I would suggest having them two feet apart, but I don't mind that they're a little crowded. Honestly, I'm gonna trim them out throughout the season so they're never gonna get like crazy unruly. But this is what we have going on here right now. We have the grape tomatoes here because those are gonna get all crazy and big. Then we have the beef steaks right here, which are the big tomatoes and then some more beef steaks. And then in the back here, we have the heirloom tomatoes. We have our peppers here in the middle and then our eggplants. We love a good, hearty, thick, delicious, decadent eggplant. So yeah, we're gonna get to planting these and we're almost done, honestly. Okay, we are done. This looks so good. As you can see, I did the little moats around so I can hold water in there. But these won't really need much for a while. I'm gonna water them. I also got these sticks from Target. I've had these for a couple years actually, so just been reusing them because uh, they'll want structure in a little bit. It'll help them, you know, not topple over because the weight from the tomatoes. So I'll just put those in the middle um, and as they grow, they can lean on them or you can tie them into it, but I don't really, it's usually not necessary because they'll kind of, they'll just lay on it, you know? So I'm gonna do that. Hey, Olive. You guys don't know Madeline is staying with us. This is little Olive, little rat devil. And her and Storm love each other and they love Wolf. Of course, hi boy. Hi. Hi buddy. So just make sure everything has a good watering when you get it in the ground. And I would water, I would water every day. I mean, unless it's raining where you are, then you won't have to. But here in LA, we've had a little rain, but until they get established, I would definitely water them every day. And then once they are established, even then, water them early in the morning or late at night when the sun goes down. Never, ever, ever water them in the middle of the day. And why you don't water them in the middle of the day is because the sun will literally boil the roots because the water will hit the hot soil and then it'll end up killing the plant. It's just really not good for it. And then it will go into shock. So always water early in the morning, right when the sun comes up and it's not too hot or when the sun sets or as it's setting like around 7 p.m. Easy. And that is it. There's the herb garden. There is the tomato and vegetable garden. Everything looks 
so 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 good this was so so easy and honestly as long as you're having fun that's all that matters you can plant whatever you guys want this is so easy you literally just put them in the ground and you're fine you don't need to have a green thumb even though I have two. All right, well, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quarantine garden moment. As you can see, I have a bunch of plants in here. I have some roses, I have some more lavender, some daisies. So if you guys want any future gardening videos, let me know. I've been gardening since I was a kid and I really love it. And especially during this time, it really just like calms me down, brings me back down to earth. And um, yeah, I like to make things a little bit more beautiful than when I found them. Anyways, leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something that interests you guys. Maybe I should make a series out of it, but let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. I'm kind of taking the next couple months to just see what works and what I have fun doing. I have a bunch of series planned. I have stuff also that I haven't posted yet that are a little more emotional. Um, not sure if I'm ready to share those moments in my life, but we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like leave this video a big like, comment down below, make sure you subscribe and you have my post notifications on so you don't miss any time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.